one. Row date, a context canvas instruction causes any vertex instructions that follow to rotate about some point. Two, the root classes based on a grid layout. Three, an image was used from the site open game r.org. You could search for grandfather clock. Then in the graphics program, GIMV, a transparency layer was added by selecting the layer menu, and then the transparent submenu, and finally the add alpha channel option. The white exterior was selected by color, and deleted. Lastly the file was renamed to gfc.png. This image was saved in the same folder with the Python and KV files. 4. In the KV file, we define columns to be two. Next, four relative layouts are defined, and thus we have two rows. Each will have the same size, half of root width and height. The background for the first relative layout is red. The image is drawn using the source property of rectangle. 5. Relative layout 2 mirrors relative layout 1, except now the background color is green. For each layout, the image is drawn at the same relative points. 6. Relative layout 3 is colored blue, and has the same coordinates as relative layout 1 for the image. There is a rotation of 30 degrees about an origin, which is defined as the center of the layout. Since the default axis, plus Z, is used, rotation increases counterclockwise. 7. Relative layout 4 has a cyan background. The rotation of the image is minus 30 degrees. 8. This is the result. The two relative layouts in the first row are the reference. The second row shows rotation by 30 degrees and minus 30 degrees. 9. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.